Hey there, how's it going? Well, this video is going to look terrible. Frame rate probably won't be very good, but it's what I, I it was either that or I make a video with my phone. Because right now I have another video processing in Premiere and I don't feel like waiting. So anyway, um, I wanted to talk about what the Bible means to many gay people. It means that we're wrong for simply existing and that we shouldn't exist and that it would be better to the world if we killed ourselves because if we're an abomination for existing then if uh, we kill ourselves it's not it's not really any different uh, we're an abomination no matter what that's what the Bible means to gay people, to, to many gay people. And you can say, well, that's that's not the way that, that sh it should be interpreted. And I'm like, oh, oh, that's not what it really means, right? Just like that's not what feminism really means. That's not what MRA, that's not what being a men's rights activist really means. Um, that's not what Antifa really means. That's not what, yeah. You tell me all about it, right? Tell me all about what, what being a real Christian is, right? Oh, no, that's, that's not really... Jesus never said those things. And I've heard a lot of people say this. If, if, there's, if there's someone watching that, that uh, you, you know that you recently said it to me, don't worry, you're not the only person that said it to me. There's a lot of people that have said it to me. That's not... Look at what Jesus says. And I'm like, well, here's the problem, okay? The Jesus concept is, is even harder for people to because it get because it doesn't make any sense. Oh, you really have to understand the Trinity to understand, really? the tri So, I just, it doesn't, even that, it doesn't really make sense, but once it, oh, it clicks, and then you're, I, I don't know, man, I'm sorry. I, I, uh, God sacrificed himself to himself to forgive us of things that, no, sorry, it's just no. It, the whole thing doesn't make any sense. I've already made another video saying, hey, Christianity doesn't make any sense. Now, granted, uh, Islam doesn't make much sense either. Uh, most of them don't make much sense. But out of all of them, I'd say that Judaism probably makes the most sense. It's... But if you follow it down its its path, it's, you know, it, it, it can... It has the potential to be as negative as, as any of the other religions. So, you know, they don't get a free pass. Um, you know, Leviticus is pretty extreme. But let me guess. Well, it's you have to interpret it the right way, and you have to be a scholar in it. You have to study it your entire life and dedicate your life to this religion in order to understand it. So don't make fun of it. Don't say anything bad about it. Yeah, I'm going to say negative things about it, particularly since it, it, it affects LGBT so much, you know? Wouldn't you be against a belief system that says that you shouldn't exist? I think it's somewhat why some people are so what do you, what do you when the straight white male demographic gets criticized why it feels so extreme because it's like well, what if what if other people are judging us the way that we judge other people and that can go through people's heads you know It's the reason why it's the reason why uh, homo homophobic guys, really homophobic guys, are usually kind of misogynistic too in the way they look at women. And what they're scared of, 
the reason why they're homophobic, what they're scared of, is that another guy may look at them the way that they look at women, right? I'm kind of all over the place in this video, sorry. Um, but, uh, yeah, the part that, that you all need to realize, those of you that are Christian that watch my channel, you know, you, you need to realize how, how awful it would be if you were right. What I mean by if you were right is if, if your religion was actually right. How horrible it would be for all of LGBT. And you can again say that's not what it's supposed to mean. Well, that's nice. That's nice. Should I spend my entire life researching your religion in order to be able to move on with my life? That's what you should that's what you expect me to do. No, no. You you realistically wouldn't. And I don't think some of you really give it that much thought as to as to why we're some of us are just so against it. Um you you can't just you can't just change who you're you're attracted to. You can't change that. And I'm just my mind is bringing up a, a you know a polar opposite situation of, of yeah if someone if someone their whole life uh, identified as gay they can't help who they fall in love with they could fall in love with a woman and the same way the other way around. I don't know why I felt the need to say that, because it doesn't really fit completely, but it's something that went through my head, and I thought I'd, you know, this is kind of a stream of consciousness video, so. Um, there was something more I wanted to say, and that's why I'm kind of floating around here, and, and I, I don't know what it is, so maybe it'll have to be for another video. But... Those of you Christians just need to realize how horrible your religion feels to, to many of us.